Well, Electronic win around just with the two of their contributions. Well, I can't believe it, but we'll get to find out right now. That's the joy of Counter-Strike being broadcast to your screens, to your eyeballs. We hope you enjoy Overpass brought to you by I am Beijing Day, whatever it is, five now, actually, I believe. Five whole days of Counter-Strike. And we do see GG.Bets given Na'Vi the edge. I would expect no less. And a T-side star for Spirit. So, guys, strap yourselves in for the B tally. I hope Chad's got his pen out because <laughs> it looks start like marking again. we're starting on uh, the second letter of the alphabet. At least leaning that way. They've actually opted for a boost and a four-man stack on the B side. So, it looks like Na'Vi have certainly done their homework. I'm just getting all my Pause. tools and Ghibli's ready because I know we got a couple so of moments. I imagine here. Magic's is smoke has an intention. He wants to see some attention drawn towards middle first. That's Chopper's responsibility. And it has pulled a rotate. That's exactly what Spirit wanted. Here we go. Nice working. Molotov arriving on short as my hiccups arrive. Oh, oh, simple. This is going to come down to timing. He spots SDY, but three already passed his line of sight. He's going to segregate this push. Oh, that's a very important frag from Flamian. Now the nades and the bullets rain in on Spirit. The advance, Mir, the spearhead, needs multiple frags here. And, well, so far, so good for Na'Vi. Flamie just sends them back and get out of my sight. Three frags from Flamey and Na'Vi have every man left standing at the end of the pistol. Flawless. Like the idea from Spirit, you can see they got what they wanted. They pulled off two members on that rotate into the side, but they weren't accounting for Flamey's just precise headshots. He gets three in the round, simple finishing things off with a double his own in quick succession. All right, well, notice this. So we got four MP9s straight out the gate here from Na'Vi going up against the force by a team spirit who have opted for Deagles across the board. We will see I disbalance even fully invest. That's unusual, traditionally holding on to extra Shay. cash. So maybe no AWP on the first gun round as the tactical nukes come out. Boomage grabs a lick of damage and Magic's even opens up onto a... He's always good for one. So, yeah. Always good for one on the Desert Eagle rounds is Magic's very, very comfortable with the hand cannon. And Flamey could get caught here. Oh, he has. Going aggressive and Magic's with Mir in perfect unison. Pair up for a second frag and another SMG falling into enemy hands. Na'Vi could be getting a little shaken here and Boomich gives him the fight. Mir doesn't necessarily convince this is a round over. Doesn't hit the shot. And they aren't really in any sort of rush, Chad. Look at the spread of the T side right now. Yeah, this is one of the things with the team spirit. They do have these change of pace up their sleeve. They play some very, very slow rounds. Oh, they're going for info. And they need to because right now it will just be simple over towards A. Boomich and Perfecto need to find a frag or at least some space. And by clearing out Backyard, by clearing out Sewer now, and that's where Boomich has just pushed through the pipe too, they get a good idea that this may be the A finish. There's 40 seconds left on the clock. Now Simple doesn't have really any utility to fight with, just a flush to hold them at bay. There's no mollies, there's no smokes, there's no HEs to do any damage. They need to hit these shots. And the Famous versus the Deagles at range, it's going to be difficult. Surprise, Magix wants to keep the SMG at such low HP. Here we go. Simple. Deals with the first, reveals his location, and he wants to fight, stand and fight. It works wonderfully. Three frags in favor of Na'Vi, puts us into an even keel. Long range, MP9, Boomich makes it a 1v1. Disbalance thrust into the clutch, and now he's been completely caught. How is he still alive, Boomich? Oh, he's going to be kicking himself. Disbalance with the fake, and now finished off all the same. Should see the Famas retrieved. It will be picked up by Boomich. Na'Vi just by the 1v1 keep that second round conversion. But this is where the finance conversation gets interesting. Do they just force again, Chad? Uh, I think they're just... down to a 1v1. Yeah, this is the thing. You know that the CTs are only going to get that 3250 win bonus. So when you look at the fact that they're not operating with a lot of cash and a yellow mouse. Oh, it's very groovy. I, I think that they should save. But if they want to really take the fight to Na'Vi, then they, they'll go, they'll force. But realistic. Oh, <laughs> Right, this, this is the thing. Because the economy on the CT side has been punished so much by losing all those members, you can opt for this. And Mir's even been able to get an AK. AK-47, baby. This is actually... Oh, they've revealed it very quickly on the duel. He wants to hunt down Flamey. But that might cause a bit more of a dumping of util. A little early than anticipated from the CTs. Boomich's speculative spray doesn't find too much. Just chips away. And this is Mir just doing Mir flight paths. Clearing in. And Flamey's found him. There we go. Now an AK falling into enemy hands. Flamey hunting, wants to deny any recovery, but SDY is a hero deagle. That was crucial and necessary to keep this round within any sort of conversation for Spirit. The fact that Mir has gone up on his own with an AK-47, the most potent weapon, and dropped it. Yeah, he's got that BDE, Chad. 
Yeah, look, I, I love the aggression, and Mir tends to get one, but Chopper's found simple. Look at this, just pushing into Sandbag, and they've even been able to pick up that AK. So Magic's, he's picked up what Mir dropped, and now more aggression. Boomich wants to take a fight as well. This has continued. Oh, Chopper tried to drop heavily. He actually got the smoke down, so mission accomplished in one sense. Magic's, can he do what Mir failed to? Which is a glimpse of Perfecto. Boomich on the periphery. Finds the head, transfers beautifully. Magic's so robotic at times. And now, well, this could be spirit breaking Na'Vi. They put all their pennies into the center of the table and now Magic's calls on SDY to plant. Magic's continues to hunt and he's denied it. Staring at heaven, needs it, but oh, what a transfer. Oh. He finishes the job, Electronic bails Na'Vi out. It looked so good, but so predictable, and Electronic gets them both. Well, with that plant, maybe Spirit buy again. The oh, I like this. The level get... of economic damage is done. <laughs> Let's get this uh, all the way through the first seven rounds or so. It looks like they will. Most players there had at least 4K for Team Spirit, and this is some fantastic shooting from Magix here, just ripping off heads. Nice little adjustment there onto Perfecto, and well, the same can be said for Electronic onto SDY. Low on HP, the plant does give them another crack at it. But that's going to be the third round on the board for Na'Vi here. And sure, it's just by the skin of their teeth, but they're rounds nonetheless. And it will be the AK-47s with light utility being purchased on through for Team Spirit. Simple has been able to get an AWP in all of this madness. So these buyers continue to surprise. And once again, we will see the early aggression over towards B. Spamming through the boards, SDY to deal with any sandbag aggression. Mir pushing through the pipe towards Sewer. He loves to collect some territory and even jumps past the spam. Comes back to even put a few bullets in himself. Connector is currently under the guard of Magics and, well, actually some A presence. Smoke, this yeah. is unusual. Well, they tend to do it. They tend to, you know, throw enough that you have to acknowledge it and respect it. Simple might want to try and get info over it, but... Jumping, not going to get him that just yet. Now, SDY's been having a standoff for a long time with this uh, Perfecto. Oh, there's the first blood. He's won it out. Smoke blooms, shaves 15 seconds off Comes the clock. Boost. And yeah, this signature boost coming out from Magix and Mir. Setting it up. And Flamey will likely jiggle eventually. It's difficult for Flamey to find this with only an MP9 as well. Very, very tough scenes for Na'Vi, and it looks like Team Spirit has set up to win this one, they will have to get past both defenders of action. How long just do they tucked stay away. Here? Okay, they have just tucked away as well. Oh, they're boosting. Oh, they're going to go for the MP9 jump boost. The accuracy of this could be nuts. Magic has spotted it. <laughs> oh, so predicted that. That was insane. That was great stuff. They get the frag, and now, well, it's a 3v5 coming into the site. The full execute for Spirit. If they could deny the plant, make it chaotic, maybe Boomich has got something to say. No, found out by Chopper, and so seems like the likely save call to be made. Simple might want to contribute just a little bit more on the exit. But Team Spirit have finally won this war of attrition. It took them a couple. And obviously, there's a price to be paid with the save. Electronic and Simple will maintain two of the best weapons on their squad coming into the next round, which does soften the blow somewhat. It's going to be a 1,400 loss bonus, so Simple will be able to drop a Famous, if he'd like, Electronic can maybe drop across an SMG and then Flamey can purchase it himself. He's going to have just over 2k. And I recommend buying when you have that AWP and the AK-47 in play. I know that it is on the hands of Simple and, of course, well, what Electronic. did we just say, Chad? They're good for three. Yeah, well, so... we need to get them in the action. That's the problem. <laughs> They're on the wrong bomb side for Team Spirit. Yeah. So this is Magic's just aware that that jump could come in. And then we've seen teams opting for that with the MP9. The jumping accuracy tends to make that more of the a viable option. conversation. It was like sandbags and then, no, let's try the MP9. Like in the bunny ears, nice to see the turnout. Na'Vi fans always steady. And you are right. You get the Famas into the hands of Flamey. It's actually Boomich going for the armored 5.7 and we are ready to rock and all roll. Okay, so Perfecto and Boomage are operating with very little here. If they can get any impact whatsoever, fantastic news for the Na'Vi squad. It's going to be Electronic babysitting A by himself. Nades towards B. One of them missed there. Nobody was home to receive, but a bit of a flub in the early stages from Spirit. Pressure towards Monster now. Simple is already over towards B. You can see with the AWP at the pillar. Flash for the Monster oh. Tunnel in Flamey's hands, so... They're fully stacking B right now. Yep. There's nobody at A. This could be the start of the end for Team Spirit. We'll see. Surely you want someone to have a little lucky loo towards that toilet's position. 
will just be electronic jumping for info. Knowing Chopper, knowing the way he likes to call, he won't be afraid of the potential for a stack. Listen to Drain out there, Util. Make sure you're not running through incendiaries. You'll take your time, 20 seconds, and press go. This is a smoke for bridge and a Molotov for graffiti. So they are starting to apply some pressure towards the site. Electronic starting to rotate off. Now there is a boost. You have to be aware of this, surely. Wild spray not going to connect. Getting a bit sketchy on the time here from Spirit. Starting to scare me. And then RV boost, or rather an RV stack hasn't gone anywhere. Here we go. They're walking into the lion's den and the lion's called Simple. He's got his cubs alongside for the ride and already seeing blood drawn. Look at Perfecto, he finally gets checked on the reload. It takes some liberties on that long CZ reload, rebuilding it, and it is going to be Boomich and Flamey filling the feed. Still, this is the chaos we talk about. Ten seconds. Oh, but that was crucial. Boomich has found the necessary double, just strafing, constantly moving erratically. On the 5-7, puts us with 4-1 to one spirit, broken by the B stack. I say broken, they will buy again. Yeah, very lucky for them here that Boomich is able to deliver that multi-kill with electronic rotating in, maybe too late to the party, but Simple didn't have any impact whatsoever in that round. He was tagged up while he was flashed at the monster peak and then eventually finished off by some sandbag players, I believe. So not even getting a chance to shoot the AWP, but regardless, Na'Vi pick up the round. And you can see for about a minute and 20 in that round, everybody, they weren't like statues, but there was no progression. They were just waiting out the utility, waiting for the right time. And Na'Vi, they had that bomb site stacked since the start of the round. This time they're going back into more of a default spread across the map. Electronic postured forward in the toilet, simple over to deal with Long. And Flamey, he's searching for information. But SMGs and Famuses, it's not the best to be working with as those AK shots. I think Flamey's a little bit too aggressive to be taking fights against the AK-47s at that type of range. From what we'd assume. I said that Perfecto and Boomich both needed impact, and they both found impact in that previous round. So good stuff there from the more supportive elements of the team. And they're going to be under a Are you keeping the B storm. tally, Chad? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, what are we looking at now? Five for five? Five for five, yeah. Okay, just making sure. Now, Molly towards the barrel position and a very deep smoke drop by Flamey. He's hoping that's going to completely deny it, and it does seem they will respect. So at this point in time, Electronic's very pushed up on the connector rotate. He'll be sitting and holding that from toilets, but it's not really Spirit's game plan to ever pivot from this. They just like to hold. Oh, line up. New one. Here we go. Going to nade off Perfecto. Might do significant damage to him. Ouch. Oh, God, it's terrifying. I couldn't play the Counter-Strike Spirit play. 30 seconds again now, yeah. we have to go. Yeah, here we go. They could smoke it. Electronic's not the only one with it, though, so he's on the wrong side of the map. This will go dry. 20 seconds on a flash, and they get the first. Nail-biting stuff. 18 seconds, and they start walking out Monster Pipe. I think they're going to get it. They're at least going to get the plant. Chopper's responsibility. Flamey and Boomich want to push on it now. Simple drawing blood. Boomich trying to deny and loads. He does it. stop it. That should be enough. SD1 needs to plant. And plant now. He starts to punch in the digits, but Electronic denies, and this is another collapse from Team Spirit. Their insistence and persistence on the take has cost them another. And yeah, Na'Vi now, they have, uh, well, left Team Spirit having to ask some questions. The loss bonus at 2,900 coming into this round means it will have to be a partial investment. And that's fantastic work from Simple. There was no smoke towards heaven. Electronic here able to just completely hold them back. And that kill, was that after the time? Did Mir go down just in the final moments there? I have to check in with his loss bonus, but uh, a huge round to win. And you can just see that Team Spirit, they're not moving away from this game plan. It. Yeah, they're not. But just as I was thinking, maybe Na'Vi would uh, would start to let loose a little slack. But no, not at all. Four stop mollies dropped at the start of the round. Did you note the position that Perfecto was playing there? Front of bathrooms the entire round, which means he's an early warning system if they do come it's back the up through connector. Yeah. yeah, so if they come up, oh, they're coming up connector. You know, simple, you can hang around for a little bit longer. Sure, there is a gap over towards long throughout this. But when they go for that type of a play, it also means Electronic can be fast on the flank. So just give Team Spirit enough rope to hang themselves. That kind of feels like the process right now. Yeah, you want to come B, we'll just wait. We'll continue to smoke. We'll delay our utility. You have to force us with a pace change or at least a bomb site change. So six rounds played and all have finished towards Previously, B. Previously, though, we've, I swear to God, Spirit did more pressure over this side of the map. Like it was always a long smoke. It was a toilet's kill and B finish. They've been very insistent on the full five-man daddy, daddy B. And that hasn't gone too well, obviously coming down oh, to three no. 1v1s and there is a gap. It's a big gap. Shadow does point towards Electronic, but it's Perfecto to catch him. Three on the right side of the map. SDY's Deagle, the only consolation prize, and it is the only man still standing. So 
This one's fallen as it should. No surprises or twists and turns in our seventh round here. Uh, well, Team Spirit need to start finding, finding some access across the map now. It's 6-1 uh, down at this stage. As we will count this one as an A finish. We will. So uh, the first round, that they've head over towards A. And you will see teams who have a, a preference or they predominantly like to hit one bomb site over the other on their ecos opt to just keep the A defenders busy. And that's just to show, yeah, well, we do come over this side of the map. You know, we do look over here and make sure that somebody's home. Somebody's still keeping an eye on the A bomb site. And the guns will come back out. I Balance has enough to purchase into the AWP. And if he opts for that, then maybe we will see a different approach. Has enough to go for head armor with the AWP. And, well, that's exactly the purchase we will be seeing come out of Mr. Disbalance. Yes. It's going to be AK-47s for the other four. Utility looking good as well. And Perfecto still wanting to operate on that MP9. He had enough money to get dropped something else, but he's happy to hold on to that pound for pound. Probably the best gun in the game. Electronic. I really deny that. Connector control right now. So he's naded open Squeaky. That's one little detail right there. With that Molly and HE combo, Squeaky door has been blown open. And they can jump spot and continue to harass if... I believe it is. Magix wants to push forward for any info. It's just Chopper on his lonesome towards A, smoking off towards the front of bathrooms and Molotov towards the tree. And this type of utility that you're catching here is part of a default. You need to do this on a map like Overpass to push the CTs back, and especially so for a squad like Spirit. You can see the spamming through the boards from Boomage there, just to the side of Magix. And that's what I mean when they're able to harass. They're able to keep the players in that connected position busy. Play me like, uh, excuse me, Navi like doubling up here. They play this quite commonly, and I mean, I can understand why. It's very unlikely you're going to get them both. I do like that nade. Doesn't quite go deep enough to inflict good damage, so Na'Vi's safe in their double up on Monster Tunnel. It seems to counter the spirit take. <clears throat> but Chopper, it's good to see that he's cleared toilets. This is something we haven't had in their gameplay, and what a timing. Just a simple turns to look away. Oh, and Electronic walks in. Chopper demanding respect, demanding a round. He wants a second. It is only flaming with an MP9, but it is going to get him at least one before he falls. So a $600 constellation, but that is Spirit taking a convincing second round on this T side of their map pick. And that spells trouble for Na'Vi here. They can't fully purchase on all of their members. Perfecto and Boomage will have to be down to just pistols. The other three could buy in with rifles and maybe even get an AWP in the hands of Simple. Now, that's a problem. The fact that Chopper took that much room, now they have to stay honest towards A. That's all they needed to do. So Chopper did a fantastic job there. That's impact frags from the in-game leader. And as we bring on the scores on the doors, Na'Vi taking a timeout to talk through their options. We have Boomish and Electronic, seven kills apiece over on the Na'Vi side. Flamey and Simple with six and Perfected on the bottom with five for Team Spirit. It's eight for Mir. Five for Magix, four apiece for SDY and Chopper, and then I disbalance. He picked up an AWP P kill in the previous, and he's got two frags. I want to be seeing Team Spirit try and get six, six or seven T rounds would be really good. Now, Perfecto is pulling my leg, isn't he? Okay. That's a very curious buy that he's opted for here. Let me see his spawn. Where's he going? Where's the boy going? I think you'd have to play Sandbags or Close Monster again. But he doesn't have any utility. I, I'm surprised he didn't go for a CZ or a 5.7. Something, they go and, uh, every time I see that stop, Molly, I always get excited about potential for something quick. And here is the big green goblin himself, Perfecto, with a Nova shotgun. It's a weird purchase here today. We don't see this every day of the week. A flash for him. Well, they're going in. Go on, Perfecto. What do you got, mate? Nothing is the answer. He's gone. There's a lot more where that came from, and oh, Boomage caught on his swing. He took one. Magic's found by Flame. He needs to find an avenue out of the smoke and has done so. This is a chaotic round, and it's about to get even more chaotic with Chopper. Uh, spotted. Finds Simple. There's more around the corner stacked up on the site. And that comms has been transferred. SDY and Disbalance ready themselves for war. It's going to be a quick scope from Disbalance. They're backing away. They don't have the bomb. And now things get interesting. I told you a chaotic, weird 2v2 for 60 seconds. Well, here you go. Wingman, the entirety of Overpass. But the bomb now in enemy hands. So cut noise and hope that the CTs peek into this balance is the play. Why will he peek into that? So check bridge. Flamey gets his angle and checks again. Lovely oh, crossfire. Na'Vi, hold firm. Recover again, Team Spirit. Every time it looks like they're on the precipice of a consecutive T round, it just gets taken away from them. Then they were close 2v2s, even the 1v1s. 
A lot of these rounds here are very close, like very, very close. And you, you feel that they've almost done enough, but Na'Vi are standing tall and hitting some good shots. So it's great to see Flamey hitting a couple of bangers here. Normally one of the more inconsistent factors within the Na'Vi roster. And if you were able to get Flamey on point every day of the week... That's a buy. That is two P90s. No, that's a real... That is that is the let's just go B. Buy. Here it comes. Mir just runs into the meat grinder. Flamey holds down mouse one. He even actually gets naded by his teammate. That's that's how all in they went. Oh, this one's a disaster. It feels like it was a complete Hail Mary play. Just run through the smoke. Let's just hope they're lazy. They weren't. Yeah, well, I was just mentioning Flamey's name. That's two massive impact kills. We saw SDY yesterday actually pushing in with a P90 and getting access onto the B bomb site. This time, completely denied. And that was an all-in attempt. As you can see, I disbalance is left wondering, boys, I had an AWP and we called Rush B. What the hell am I meant to do with this? Yeah. Well, they're not giving themselves a chance to work. And if you're an AWP on overpass and your game plan is only going to the B bomb site, you're probably not going to be getting too much action. If you think about A, the type of jewels you get in towards long yeah, and I bathrooms, mean, it's a lot more suited to the AWP, right? I totally agree. And it does definitely sound like a bit of a nightmare for poor disbalance at times. All right, so am I coming in last? Am I then? Uh, I'll throw the flashes, I'll guys. Flash you. Um, <laughs> I'll smoke heaven. Good luck. Hopefully you made the space or I'm screwed. Open the door and then kill everyone. Okay, well, Simple's trying to cut off the rotation so he can't save, knowing that it is disbalance the last man standing. But if he doesn't expect Simple to have taken this much room, okay, he's going the complete other way. So he might get away with this one, disbalance. It looks like he will. You can see here on the radar, look at the top left, there's no little blue dots near him whatsoever. And I don't think Simple is going to start tra traversing back to territory that he has already cleared off. You can see here, more interested over towards T spawn. No one plays this side of the map. Why would I be looking towards A, yeah, the question? This is a complete non-existent part of Overpass. It's like, what's going on here? Wait, does th this exist? <laughs> this Chopper told me like, there's only one bomb site. Yeah, what is this? Okay, oh, there's nice angles for an AWP here. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, maybe next round we can go to this place. Yeah, I, I, I found I a door. It's like, apparently Narnia's on the it other side. It looks like a lot of fun, but the time I was called regardless, tactical one for Team Spirit, because let's not forget, now we've just won the half. Eight rounds secured. And this is Spirit's pick, so they really do need to try and close this gap. These are those crucial frags from Flamey. Had he not been pulling Mouse 1 in that flashbang, it could have been a very different story. And yeah, just naded out by his teammate, stopping him in his tracks. But <laughs> At least he's still smiling. Yeah, he knows he did the hard work already. We got a different angle of the Snow Leopard today. Oh yeah, uh, a whole new the camera. camera angle. So I appreciate Flamey keeping it dynamic for us. SDY with his patented jug of water. Doesn't say have a nice day, but... At least he's staying hydrated, and I hope you are at home as well. And he's avoiding single-use plastic. That's true. Shout out to SDY. Okay, well, Chopper's already purchased in. Hadjix could buy a Galil or an AK. SDY, an AK-47 for him, and the same for Mir. So this buy is looking decent for Team Spirit. It is lacking utility, but that's not really a problem because they only go to one bomb site. Uh, to kick this one off, it looks like Chopper will be handed the task of dealing with any crazy A aggression playground for him. I'm going to send a high disbalance forward with the AWP. Use that pointy end of the AWP to see if it can find that opening because once again, they're heading towards the B bomb site. Magix has gotten connected control quicker. They know that they can fasten up their defaults because Na'Vi aren't pushing them. They're just holding. So now you know you can take connected quicker. You're likely to be able to take sewer a little bit quicker. It's the re-aggression that you have to worry about. And this wall bang is, I thought it would be a, a tough one to counter wall bang. Bear seems to have worked on a lineup. It's a good way to deter. So disbalance, right eye peek into simple, but no issues for start. Here's the thing though, you know that simple's an A holder and he's just got the opening kill on B. So at this point, most teams be like, hey, let's go to A, but it's Team Spirit, they're not moving. One of the few rounds they got was when Chopper killed two people A. Yeah, well he's dead and so is Magic. So this round is falling apart as well. Mir's been tickled up through the smoke. He's down to 41 points of health. He'd have to hit some absolute bangers. Flamey says no and SDY's left in the rough spot that I just balance had in the previous. This time just with an AK, not even an AWP. So this is going to be nine on the board for Na'Vi unless we're about to see a one on five. Ah, Team Spirit not having fun. This is their map choice, let us remind you. And we knew the game plan coming in. We stated that as soon as we saw Overpass. Actually, before we saw Overpass. We knew exactly how this map was going to look. And Na'Vi, what kind of prep work do you have to do? Don't die on the B-bomb site? Seems pretty simple. Speaking of, he doesn't get the last kill. Electronic oh, and Perfecto. Nearly That's got combined. the transition, <laughs> nearly. But it is 12 rounds of play, or rather 11 heading into the 12th. Now, this was the uh, the opening. 
Thank you very much. They made to look very easy. You can see Simple doesn't have to do too much other than click the mouse with his positioning. So a double orb is pulled out, and it is going to be Tech 9 armor from Spirit. So they're going to once again. I'd like to see them just at least show face somewhere else, or if they try this all in Monster, maybe Flamey's a bit late to the party this time. We are seeing CT aggression early here from Electronic. Yeah, but Alex, what if we go B again? Yeah, but we could just go B. What if we just go B? No, but like B. Stack nades. Woo! Finally do something. And a miss from Flamey. They can overwhelm. All right, they're in trouble now. They certainly are. But if Perfecto bails them out with a double spray down, Boomich is very low. If he goes down, we've got a real around here. But he's tugged in on the corner and they're forced to press pause. If SDY could be getting that bomb down, but now with the pressure from Short as well, what's Chopper up to? He's checking the flank. If SDY asked to pause. He has the bomb. Chopper going around the world. This is interesting. He does have time if he gets a move on to go all the way. Like fake it. <laughs> oh, okay. He's coming through connectors. So seeing if he can pick up a bit of a cheeky frag, but this isn't going to change too much of the direction. And if uh -huh. Electronic jump peaks a couple more times, he might catch a timing. Looks like they're setting up for a boost. They'll get Boomich mounted on up, and he's going to cover off the B bomb side on his own. In the meantime, Electronic's going to get a move on back towards A. Just make sure that they haven't lost too much territory. 45 seconds left, and STY, he starts his aggression through Monster. Boomich. Not known to be an AWPA. Spots him and goes down. That's Yikes. an issue. Missing his shot. Orp now for Chopper. He's recovered it from the corpse of Flamey. Oh, you can see Electronic just parole, patrolling rather under the scope. But the bomb goes down. And now this 2v2 starting to shift in favor of Team Spirit. SDY does start to jiggle the push. Simple's working on it. Chopper needs to be cautious of that right ramp. Holding this push for SDY. They both cross fire. And he pulls the trigger. Looking good now. Only Electronic has the frag. No, SDY swings out. A double for both of them. And Spirit add a third to their T tally and taking a lot of the finances away from the Na'Vi squad. Yeah, Boomich uh, missing a bit of a sitter right there. It felt like he had it all day to hit that shot onto SDY. Misses, dies, and well, that's basically the round done and dusted. Simple Electronic couldn't find anything. And this is after Perfecto gets two kills completely flashed. Hand up over the eyes there, couldn't see a thing. It didn't matter because that's the third on the board is yes. Here's a representation from our observer, Jakey. We only need to cover one side of the map and hold of a second. Mir's over here now. It's not just Chopper, so we've got two players over towards A. Disbalance is so excited. He's like, guys, I'm orping somewhere else. Looking at long. There's a whole world over here. Yes, there's a playground here. It's cool. It's balloons. Okay, well, let's see. This change up from Team Spirit, we did expect it eventually. One of the keys, if you do hit the same bomb site round and round again, is you definitely weaken uh, the other one because they're going to start getting a little bit pushy. They're going to start rotating quite heavily if you sell a bit of a fake. Right now, Na'Vi have four players with their feet planted on the B bomb site. Boomich is playing over towards Heaven, so he's a fast rotation to help out the A defender of Electronic. But all in all, this is just business as usual. This is looking more like a standard round of Counter-Strike here. Simple is... has rotated his AWP over there, though. And that's enough to perhaps be the deterrent back to B. So they're going to boost over the smoke, and I like this. This could be the end of Mir. He flashes on his way across back. Okay, so... Sees it's clear. Yeah, initial threat resolved. There's still three of them hanging around top of Connector right now, so Electronic needs to get a move on here and take some space, because if Simple does not cheat over towards the B site, it's just going to be an MP9, a Famous, and an M4, and they don't really have any utility to defend with. It's just going to be the bodies. This monster smoke as well gives the spirit a bit more of a chance. That was the last smoke of the Na'Vi defense. Simple's coming. He's rotated back, and Electronic's on the flank. 20 seconds. Flamey still sees nothing on the monster pipe. Chopper trying to swing in from short. 14 seconds. You're crazy. Here comes the flurry of frags. Simple's held the wolf from the door. And that's the end, double digit spirit. They run down the clock, they pull the CTs around the map. It doesn't stop simple being good for three. And uh, well, at this stage of the game, spirit on your map pick, you're two timeouts deep now. You just need to close the gap, get it to five, win the pistol, 10-8 sounds reasonable, sounds manageable. Yeah, I think when I was saying six or seven rounds, I was, I was being generous. That would be a fantastic half from team spirit. If they're able to get the five that you mentioned, then that is still a serviceable half. Some of the problems they're having is eye disbalance cannot get activated, which means moving onto the CT side, if they don't have a decent buffer of rounds and he misses a couple of sitters with the AWP, he won't get a chance to be warmed up for this map, let alone the next map of Nuke, and he will need to be online there. 
So Navi are making a case of why they should be in the playoffs. Winner of this one here, they will move on through to meet the likes of uh, FaZe. We've had them qualify already. Complexity. Yeah, with JKS as the newest addition, have made it through from Group A. We have Vitality versus Mad Lions. That one's had to be rescheduled. That one will be played tomorrow at the same time as our opening series, North versus Heroic for Group B. And the winner of that Vitality game will be in the playoffs as well. So our third team will get locked on here this evening for the European side of things. And it looks like we're going to be once again. So it doesn't matter. It's a bit of a dry run simulator at this stage. They just get to play against a, a plethora of different CT defenses. And Na'Vi have had a bit of an affinity with having Perfecto over towards the left-hand side of the Monster Pipe. He actually plays in transition quite a lot. He does. Takes... Uh a dip into that tight corner when he feels like the push could be coming in, but he's floating around. Chopper clearing out the underpass. That is a crucial component of that ability to just sit around Shisua, and they're not going to do too much. Oof. Just a little late. But Magix has managed to get a good bit of control up here with SDY. This is a new look. This is a, contact, yeah, but this yeah. is a dream for us. This is further than Spirit get. Typically, and the utilities on magic. So if he does go down, they will have nothing. Now Mir draws blood. He'll drop the smoke. Suddenly, B is lost. And Na'Vi, to overcome it, it's Flamey that comes out of the hidey hole with a big frag. Disbalance finally fills the feed with something. A miss smoke. Boomich already closing the gap, and maybe Mir's gonna oh. lurk behind it, but that's a big frag from Boomich, causing, once again, disarray. Pushed in, SDY catches him before the smoke does fade. Chopper, SDY, mere smoke gimmick did not pay off, and now they're pushing in. Electronic wants to put some pressure. Chopper's caught. It falls to one man. SDY, he's not ready for it. Simple misses. And so now time on the side of SDY. He closes the gap, a reswing, and he collects a fourth round. That's big. A huge round from SDY, and exactly what his squad needed of him. That could very well be enough to secure the fifth. Yeah, look at the money situation for Na'Vi now. They're completely busted and broken, so fantastic work from SDY. We said not necessarily one of the star fraggers of this squad. Well, that's a star clutch right there. That is putting them well and truly in touching distance for the fifth. And that one was frustrating because it looked like Na'Vi... They weren't ready for a contact play. They just walked straight into the site. Perfecto. Completely surprised to see them that up close and personal. And we're going to get the four-man boost out for this bounce to find an opening pick. Nobody towards heaven, but if they jump peak, might have a chance. We can see Flamey has already taken sewer control. So they now understand that there is less movement over towards the backyard of B than usual. Another smoke towards Monster. And of course, Team Spirit. All heading over towards the B-bomb side here with a cheeky beaky surf. And Flamey copping a leg shot. So a great start for Team Spirit here in round number 15. Looks like they might be able to walk away with five and a half and that should be putting the smiles on their faces. I swear I've never seen Electronic lose this jewel, jewel from this angle. Like you know he's there, but he just gets it every time. <laughs> he's so focused as well. Every bloody time. In comes the site. Mir will likely go have a double duel and it's a bit overwhelming. Multiple targets now being hunted down. The p 250 is not good enough, nor the Deagle. They are losing health and now losing bodies from behind. Simple has struck. Disbalance has gone down. Does that mean there's an opt in play? Yep, Simple's picked it up. Even more sketchy scenes and they're starting to reassess. They're going around the world. Electronic will be there to receive them. He's going to hear this in a minute. Oh, he's such a good angle for it. Electronic, the thorn in Spirit's side. 11. Na'Vi, domination on Spirit's pick and looking to finish it off neat and tidy when we come back from our break.
making mistakes. Magic cricks his neck as he prepares for what could be a quick half. A grimace or a smile, we're not quite sure. Disbalance prepares himself to recover from a four kills, 12 deaths half. It was brutal. And as Chad was outlining throughout, it's not easy to be a T-sided AWP when your team's committing B 90% of the time. And the stats do add up. Again, we see the majority of their T rounds heading towards B. Na'Vi clearly doing their homework and just rotating perfectly around it. You know, sometimes you watch Spirit's T-side and wonder if teams would just push for info and stack up and well Navi did just that yeah it's odd to see a team come up with such little variance in their play but let's see if team spirit can bounce back the ct side is where most teams are winning the lion's share of their halves certainly and Navi were able to grab 11 if team spirit could do the same well we'll be in overtime and that's my general broad sweeping and analysis for the day ladies and gentlemen so i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> it's always good to have a nice uh nice statement of the obvious now look at this connector stack they are ready to rotate between both bomb sites. And as I say that, they're actually pushing for info over towards A. So if Navi take their time, they might get caught no. between a rock and a hard place. But that flash has been heard, and that would indicate some information plays. Chopper got a lot of work on his plate as they flood into B. Perfecto trying to drop the molly, and that will force Chopper back. Interesting. So they're going to play retake, and they've got two flashes to do so. So they're all, oh, look at this, a flood of blue going to be coming out of heaven with a flashbang. This is going to be interesting. It's an interesting plant as well. That's not good for players over towards sandbags, and currently three of them are going to have to retake from there. And oh dear, a team flash, not the perfect start. Spirit getting ripped apart. It's just three for Electronic and kept safe by Flamey. He doesn't even go down. That's a 12th. Found very quickly, convincingly by Na'Vi. Didn't feel like they had to work too hard for that one. Yeah, no, straight into the B-bomb site, given up for free. Bomb goes down and then threw a smoke grenade with a missed flash. It's uh, not ideal from Spirit. They're having a rough one of it here today. So they've able, they've done Na'Vi a massive favor by eliminating OG. So uh, Na'Vi are probably more than happy to be taking over in Spirit. And look at Electronic getting fired up. You don't see Electronic like that too often. They're really feeling it in the Na'Vi camp today. We saw how uh, much concentration Flamey had when he had him for the interview. So uh, maybe it's throughout the rest of the team as well as this one will be a force buy from Team Spirit. I just bounce onto the scout. Deagle's for everybody else. Very familiar looking situation to be in. And Miri even cops a dink. I'm not quite sure where that bullet came from. Must have been simple on the spam. Yes, it was. That would have been heard. So Magix and Mir, the two players who normally are the star duo, both tagged on up and have an opportunity to tag on down. Flamey, he's going to be put on notice, but it doesn't really matter. Simple's found himself a kill, and that was through the boards. Yeah, finally. 
He's been spraying that. Look at his bullets. You can see he's got only got about 56 left. Where you going, Simple? Looks like you want to go meet up with Electronics. So, not a great start for Team Spirit with their all-in. If they lose this, it will be the save. That means Na'Vi will have 14. <laughs> then only two rounds away from closing. It might be a quick day of the office for Na'Vi. We're going to take back space and no one's home. So Perfect great time timing. Molotov as well. I think of a better timing for it. They were just considering looking for info and it's been denied. So they're still fully planted. This will be a full gamble. So likelihood is that Na'Vi walk into B, oh, excuse me, walk into A, plant. No one's home and they try and save their uh, deagles and scouts. Not the most of exciting rounds, but I want to see if Na'Vi want to chase. That's where I want to keep my focus because they are rocking that double, sorry, triple Mac 10, and Flamey did have them locked in over towards T-spawn moments ago. The bomb's gone down. They know that they've cleared A very diligently, and Flamey's trying to take away as much space as he can. If he's not careful, his footsteps will be heard, so hitting that shift key is imperative, and he's done exactly that. So now they know they're contained to either connector, the B-bomb site, or potentially T-spawn. How far do they want to push the issue? Because look who's coming. Perfecto's mm -hmm. over here with the Mac 10 as well. Simple's not far away. Maybe they want to biff. Maybe they want to fight. They want to really twist the knife here. They could even use that bomb explosion as a little bit of a mask of the steps. It's a very tight angle held by Mir. And that's going to probably change their priorities to AK retrieval. They get it and get away. Nice work, but was a solid headshot to deter the hunt. Good work from Mir all the same. Admittedly, a bit of a consolation prize given the score line. Electronic 100 ADR alongside Flamey, and you can see that Flamey clearly has been contributing in the damage department given the kill discrepancy between the two. That's 20 for Electronic, 13 for Flamey, however, hanging in the ADR statistics. Think about how this game started, Alex. We had buy after buy after buy from Team Spirit. Remember how close they the first like, handful the dragon, of rounds dude. were? Yeah, and do. then as soon as that dropped, as soon as that fell away, it all felt one-way traffic for Na'Vi. Sure, there was a couple of other close rounds in the mix, but Na'Vi had a good read on the B hold, and well, the B push is what Boomich has to deal with, and he can't do it. Mir finds an opening. It's a big one. Oh, again, simple with the spam. He tags Magics up for a little bit of damage this time. Continuing to harass with the boosts, our team spirit on either side of that, they love it. Magics and Mir and their damn boost, T or CT, doesn't matter. Okay, well, Simple's walking through Monster for contact here, and he might catch them off guard with the boost. How to, it's down to timing here. Oh, there we go. Flamey's even found that at range, so poor Mir. Magics couldn't spot that, he was too low. So low now. But he still gets flamey. And now Chopper's oh, no. pushed in with the USP. This one's starting to fall apart for Na'Vi. Disbalance has connected a scout shot. Simple needs to smoke. Chopper likely going to disrespect that on the plant queue. Oh, and another scout shot. Team Spirit, crucial tagging. Now they need the fragging, and it will be a boost on the sandbags. That's perfect, but dealt with. They now know there's one there. And a good shooting <laughs> from Simple, maybe, just maybe not. Denying the chance that Spirit have found. I mean, the scout shots have been hit by disbalance. It definitely does make it winnable. He has time to do this as well. Bomb's yet to be halfway ticked. If he gets a move on, he can win this. One Deagle bullet would be enough, but peaked by Perfecto and very quick time to kill on that one. 14 found. Oh. Na'Vi comfort. Two more rounds is all they require here. Perfecto not quite able to get his little mitts on one of those AK-47s. This balance nice yet to frag. Upgrade. In this half, yeah, and this would be the time he has to do so. They made it costly, but Simple bailed them out with a couple of bangers here. The shot onto SDY was insane, considering he predicted that boost. Oh, we got some fans in the kitchen. Watching a bit of counter in the top left while uh, putting the groceries away. Not a bad place to be, but I Spance has the AWP now. Now, he only has two rounds to make it work, and this would be the time he needs to find impact. He has taken sewer. Lots of players from Na'Vi over towards his connector position. Boomich leads the charge. Let's see if SDY can make that spot look as powerful as Electronic does. He peeks in, gets traded. Perfecto continuing to be a thorn with just a Mac 10. He's happy to operate with it, and he's getting his trace necessary. Disbalance still having his woes. Let's see how he handles this pressure towards the A site. Oh, nade looks promising. Bit of a nade exchange. Slight win for Mir. I have the slightest of margins. I think there's a one health discrepancy, but... Chopper. 
Oh, has won his dual electronic. Good move up onto the planter, but it was predicted. And with the door blown off, Perfecto is vulnerable to that wall banger even more so. Magic's will jiggle this. It just comes down to a timing. Oh, will he let Mir pick up the slack if he does? Flame, he's in the open. Great shot by Mir. Yeah, Two very on nice four now. This is when it, they start to really stretch Simple and Perfecto thin. They started with the opening kills. So this is a nice 4v5 overcome. Now, you tell to ensure there won't be anyone close as Perfecto walks out Monster Ramp, but there's a lot of targets to deal with. Simple does well to draw fire, but Perfecto's gone. And so his chances dwindle. He's got two players staring at him and the flank locked in. Chopper's completely confirmed this round and well, simple does go down eventually. Spirit, find five. Okay, so the money for Na'Vi means they can buy. Perfecto can drop an AK across. Simple can buy himself. Flamey can opt in with something a little bit lower in the purchases and the same for Boomage if they want to go for some MAC-10s. You can see guns being thrown across now as the tactical timeout will be called just to discuss through their financial options. I'm sure they're getting Blade on the phone. Not sure if he's a registered accountant, but I think this is the type of time where he can really weigh in with his expertise. Now, the fact that you only need two more rounds, you would be justified if you want to go, oh, we'll just go for a partial here. We'll get all the money up and we'll close them out. But it really depends on how quick now we are to solve this puzzle. They could go for a set piece, something a little bit more spawn based where they try and overrun Spirit with a well rehearsed round. And you can see here they've been able to muster a relatively decent buy. Flamey has a MAC-10, Boomich and Electronic on the AK-47s, Perfecto with a Deagle and Simple onto the AWP. Now a faster round, probably not going to be on the table here today, knowing that Simple will have the AWP. I'm still secretly cheering on this balance. Do you want to see him get activated here? I want to see him wake up, bro. <laughs> well, Nuki might get a chance. I think on this one here, it's going to be a very, very rough game for him. Now... We are seeing a different look. It's actually kind of exciting to be seeing Na'Vi stretch their legs towards the toilets and long side of the map. It's been very underutilized in our 15 or so T rounds from Spirit. This is a very default looking spread right here from Na'Vi. This is what you traditionally see teams running on overpass. One player, Flamey babysitting towards the backyard, Perfecto and the connector dealing with the rotations and the swing point. And then three players, they act as a bit of a pack. You get two choices here as you go for your default over towards A. Do you want to go through long and then come back in through the bathrooms? Or do you want to go through bathrooms and then push around towards long? Both options have their risks and rewards. But this aggression from Chopper it might be caught off guard. Looking for the head. Boomich had the advantage, but unable to convert. Chopper finds a freebie. And the in-game leader of Team Spirit has punished his adversary on the other side of things. Oh, he's still continuing forward. Chopper is very brave. I don't think Perfecto clears this. No, he doesn't. Nice catch. Was stayed, kept flawless for a moment. Oh, oh. even wall bangs Chopper, he peeks in. Knows he's hit the wall shot, tries to bait it with the Glock. Not gonna work, Chopper, get away. You've done enough, dude. Three kills. 20 seconds now. You gotta get a wiggle on. Chopper finally found, but he even inflicts more damage and Maybe. it does look like they're pressing the save key. Back in a way. <sighs> All right, well, this is one of the games where it is just, or oh, really does have that feeling that it's a matter of time until Na'Vi are able to put the last two rounds on the board. But let's see what Team Spirit have. They picked this map for a reason. Their T-side game plan of hitting B time and time again, it didn't really net them a lot. Four rounds is quite traditional. You have to go back a couple of years to have standard 11 four halves. T-sides have got a lot more potent these days and the way that the money is means that the T-sides can stay threatening round after round. The hard resets are a thing of the past. This was all Chopper. You could see Boomich caught sleeping there. His eyes gazed towards the connector position. A lot of focus elsewhere. And with the kills coming in from Chopper, it gave them a massive advantage. And Simple, he had a chance to convert this one. I think he thought Chopper had actually course corrected over to the far right. Not the case. And Chopper with huge impact. So, eyes back out. It's going to be pistols alongside these saved AKs and AWP. A little bit quicker for their default towards A now. Electronic leading the charge. He's out of utility. Simple has a bag himself to throw out. Posture with the AWP right now, looking for any aggression. Uh, B just throwing out that net, seeing if they can catch anybody, forcing them back into the bomb sites. 
before they retool and go for an execute. Now, when they do go for a play onto a bomb site, they're not working with a lot of utility, just that handful of smokes, flashes, and the single Molotov. And that means they really do need to find an opening pick before they can get stuck in. Another smoke drop towards Monster. That means Simple has to go and look somewhere else for a pick. Team Spirit are out of smoke grenades on their defense. And now we're sub one minute, so it's just been posturing. A lot of posturing here to kick off this round. Bomb looks like it'll be scooped up by Boomich, and it will be the B finish. Tough round to win here, very tough. Yeah, I mean, there's still definitely a viable path into victory, and it does perhaps start with the electronics lurk. Oh, doesn't spot him. Here they go, they're committing to the site. And in comes Flamey, my god, what was that? A double on the Tech 9. A quick flurry of clicks to his mouse, and that's a quick reaction from Chopper. He's actually taken down the AWP. SDY swung into short, and just like that, this tough round puts Electronics flank into an almost completely useless standpoint. He's even going to get caught by Chopper. And so seven is found by Spirit, and yes, the matter of time does continue to be extended, especially considering Na'Vi are down to just the 2.5, 2.7, 3 at the high end. And so we will likely see another Spirit round. We'll see how this one shapes up, because Flamey gets both of them here. Oh, wow. Missed shot from Ida's balance, another conversion. So that was really good from Flamey. A little bit unlucky that they weren't able to convert the round off of that. If you get two entry frags for your team, and then they all flub the follow-up, you got to be a little bit disappointed. Navi will just be down to those pistols now, and Team Spirit really have a chance to start building into this, this game. Is, this is what I was referring to. You know when I was talking about Navi making every game more difficult than it needs sure. to be? Like, how often do they get to this, this sort of juncture of a game where it seems almost a guarantee? And then we have, like, a simple miracle. And you have a simple, or like, a deagle Ooh. Kevlar round. <laughs> yeah, it uh, tends to be in this script. I didn't do my table read this morning, so I'm yeah, not quite sure how right. this You're one's going to You're not quite up to, up to snuff. Now, don't think this is the round that Na'Vi turned it around, but Flamey is pre-aiming the boost. Go on, dude. Do they do it? Oh, he's lost a lot of teammates now. Flamey, Boomich, all gone. We'll fall to Boomich is Mr. P2 Fiddy. I think we have noted something that maybe Na'Vi won't be able to. They obviously don't have the eyes through the walls with the X-ray vision, but Boomage will go down any second, but it's the re-aggression from the A defenders to mop up and clear up the toilets uh, into the mid late round. And when they're doing that, they're getting back space. And they're able to hedge their bets over towards the B bomb site. It also allowed SDY on one of these rounds to pinch her on in. So if Electronic gets unlucky with the timing, like he did in the last gun round we had, then they'll be able to continue to get away with moves like that. But there's a couple of ways to deal with that. You could go for more of a press, have more presence towards long, have more presence towards the bathrooms, maybe even get into the closer choke points just before the site, and it's less likely they'll regress. It just depends on what they see. So AKs are back out. There's no AWP this time round for Simple. Round number 23, scoreline 14 to 8 in favor of Nardis Vincia. And this is an elimination match. Winner straight through the playoffs, loser out of IEM Beijing for 2020. And as we continue the slow procedural clear of the defaults again, Flamey towards backyard, Chopper aggressive, not towards the toilets, this time towards sewer. And they're constantly staying active spirit across the map, flashing forward, peeking, flashing again, looking for more information. Setting up something over towards B right now. Chopper's gonna lob out a smoke. He's going to actually get spammed through for getting away with that cheeky one right there. Om now, back over towards A. They're just going to leave Flamey here. Flashed off, I just balance, you're in a bit of trouble. He's responsible for this side of Banana. It's a good shot at finding a couple here. Simple will be flashed in though, and now he punishes disbalance down to 20. On the retreat, smoke blooms, maybe he can tuck tail and try and get back to the site that does seem to be his intention and he has just about gotten away with murder so we keep it at a level keel 35 seconds now we need to finish bomb still in mid limbo they don't know which way they want to go electronic spotted here i just bounce has the shot every day of the week see why he's holding the front of sight takes down simple this is another spirit round Na'Vi counting on Flamey, perhaps he can find Mir, that's a good shot, if he gets them both, we were talking, but no, conversation stops dead, 
and Perfecto hasn't really got the time. Yeah, this is not working well for Na'Vi. We were talking about Team Spirit and their struggles on the T side. At least they were able to, to make some convincing trades over towards the B bomb site. Right now, Na'Vi feel like they're just kind of being blown out of the water. Electronic was leading the charge in a big way, had a lot of impact, helped with their second pistol win, and that's a big reason as to why they've managed to get up to that 14 round so quickly. But we're only one round away from double digits now for Team Spirit. It's just as simple as hitting the shots. Electronic, his barrel got spotted, so caught with his pants down a little bit there. Chopper was able to take that space back, and while well, Magic's finishing things off onto Flamey, who was the last remaining threat on that B bomb site. And the smiles on the face of Idis Balance there. So good to see after a very, very rough first half, and their map choice indeed. He's even going to find a leg shot. Electronic down to 17 health. Well, uh, Simple's just charged through. SDY's heard all of this. He's seen all of this, and now he's trying to react. Doesn't look too shabby. Taking down Simple's always an achievement, and he is going to feel CT Molotov just narrowly whistle past his ear. Hello. That's a big win for Chopper, and oh no, Na'Vi. Just about this double digit mark being reached is where you start getting a little concerned. I know it's Spirit's pick, but they're going to have another weapon round here, and this will kind of determine how much faith I've got. Triple kill from SDY puts him on 20, joining Chopper at the top of the tables inside uh, Electronic and Simple chasing as well. I like the pace change from Simple, though, and I hope that's the intention going forward. Just a bit more brazen about their approach. I'm loving the default in the sense of they are crossing their T's and dotting their I's. They're playing Counter-Strike by the books and ABCs and all of that jazz. Yeah. But I think we need a bit of flair. We need a bit of uh, Simple and Electronic magic right now. So to do so, they have to get stuck in. They have to take a risk. They have to throw caution to the wind. Extinguishing the Molotov is a great start. Flushing back SDY. Let's see how aggressive the two, the duo, want to get over towards Playgrounds. They have a lot of responsibility. They can find a heads-up duel against Idis Balance over towards Long if they want to look in that direction. Up through Connector will come Boomich and Perfecto. So much of a muchness here. We've seen this look before. Flush over Long. Idis Balance blind. And he's going to hang around. If Electronic peeks on the other side of that rock, yeah, he gets oh. a warning. Disbalance is having a very tough time against Na'Vi. Every angle he holds, he gets flashed off. Before he gets to pull the trigger, they know what he's up to. Another smoke blooms, and it's not flaming out of his monster progression. I don't want to see Na'Vi fumble in this mid-round. We're expecting this toilet re-aggression. We've seen it time and time again from Team Spirit, and so simple, but... If they don't push, they're just wasting time. They're just lingering around here, and we're down to 43 seconds. They have to get a move on Na'Vi. Look at this push. They're going forward. Both Chopper and yeah, SDY are moving regress. around. And they're smoking off Monster Tunnel from B. Disbalance just through his, but there's about 10 second timer on that. Chopper gets caught having a look. And a good incendiary puts it about 20 seconds before this B hit comes in. Mirror and Magic. Better know what they're up for. They're actually peeking into the AWP and Simple can't believe his luck. Swinging wide. Magix only gets the one. Looking Everyone's good. Here. There is SDY on site. Disbalance trained. He's low. Don't forget. Tagged up by Electronic. And now the bomb's going down for the man himself. Can't be denied. Simple keeps finding them as they peek to contest. And Electronic mantling the boxes puts the 15th on the board for NAV. That was what was required. It was the triple from one of their stars. Yeah, and the double from the other. So yeah. uh, Electronic and Simple had enough. They went, okay, let's uh, let's close this one out, shall we, boys? I've had enough for this. This game's gone on long enough. And combined, they're able to just completely manhandle Team Spirit here. And you can see Mir and Magic's getting thrown at the sandbags position. And you're probably thinking to yourself, but they know they're coming. B, what are they doing? Well, if they're able to slow them down and trade out efficiently in that sewer position and do some damage, as they limp onto the site, the rotation from Spirit was already there. They could have mopped up the remainder. But now it's 15 to 10. The money's still good. I want to see if Na'Vi can close it out in an instant or if they're going to give us a couple more rounds of play here. Flamey with damage down onto Mir through the boards again. Aggression into sewer. Two players... Pushing, aggressive, very aggressive. Flamey, you're in trouble. He is in dire straits, gone already. See you later, alligator. Now, with that much information in the CT remit so early, do they hold on to it? It seems they do. Magix is going to try and keep his uh, teeth chomped down on all of that map control. He's actually just jiggling with the smoke. That's kind of interesting. Does he just drop it on spot? Yeah, I think they're doing it like secret in lower on yeah. a map like Nuke there. So that's bought another 15 to 20 seconds, and Boomage has to respect it. Electronic and Simple took territory over towards Long, but they need to hope someone peeks into this. Otherwise, they won't be getting a kill on this side of the map. And here's the peak, SDY. Oh, okay. Scary stuff. Scary scenes. May have seen 
and conveyed that information. You can see where they're repositioning that they likely are. And his balance versus simple will be the toilet's battle. They're trying to pivot back to B. Doing so silently. Electronic trying to fake it out. He throws the smoke A. Spotted that. Bad miss. Yeah, that's a bad miss indeed because they can start charging straight in towards he Heaven Smokes. Molly barrels. Nobody's home and now he can. Oh, oh, what? Oh my god. With a Glock against SDY. Electronic's even got another. Disbalance humiliated. Gets pants. They're going back to A. They are. Chopper's going to hear this. He can deny it all. 15 seconds. Does he let him go past? Oh, oh no. Yes, and here comes Boomich. He gets them both. Chopper just wins them the round. Simple tagged up. He can't get both the frags. There's no way for him to win this. And so just keeping hold of his AWP is his very best bet. Not bad, Chopper. Not bad at all. Oh, he's had a lot of impact, old Chopper, in this game here. Trigger and that's 11 discipline. on the board. I cannot believe that electronic Glock kill. What the hell was that? He had an AK on his back, just needed the sidearm. I don't know how he hit that. Boom. <laughs> That is some wild stuff. Regardless, though, Navi unable to close and they will have to take a timeout. They have one remaining in the bank. Here's Electronic. So he's just getting over towards B to help his teammates. Just hello. Jesus. And then with 9 HP, he holds his brain, humiliates disbalance. 13 seconds as he gets those two frags. Lovely stuff. Chopper, in game leader for Spirit and keeping him in it. I thought Na'Vi had done enough, stringing it together, two rounds in a row to finish, but no, Electronic, you can see he's not too satisfied. The Spirit have managed to make a real half out of this. 11 to four was the halftime scoreline. Admittedly, they do need to find another four consecutive rounds and make it five total. <sighs> Let's see how it starts off. Will we see some CT aggression? Getting that info early really rewarded Magics with his uh, B lockdown early frag. Now, Simple's actually leading the pack, crossing over Monster aggressively. You can see their early contest is present. Okay, well, this time around, it looks like it will be more of a B heavy presence for an opening pick, and that's indicated by Simple with that AWP. Monster about to get double naded. Little bit of damage done to Mir and Magics. Nothing to write home about. Very, very scary stuff there. The AWP rings out. They know that they've baited enough utility. They can go and pick elsewhere on the map now. Flamey's cleared out towards Sewer. Electronic and Sybil now will start their aggression and combing of the A-bomb site. Have to push up, clear out the toilets, be aware that Idis Balance could be on the other side with the AWP, and he is. He's been getting flashed so often on his, his lines. Let's see if he can get away with something this time. See Boomich is cognizant, and there's the flash. Just balance will be forced off. This time it was just a miss onto Boomich. Now taking control. He'll stick around. He wants to try and at least make them work for this control. And well, dropping his smoke at 40 seconds ain't bad. Holding the close walk up. Oh, Arms in toilets. The clock, Alex. It is an absolute mess, isn't it? It is sc scaring me. They've got a three man stack on B. So if you go back to B, they're likely going to take this one. Magix has a Molotov as well. Smoke for Monster. Now would be a perfect time to drop it. Here we go. Drops his util. Deep molly. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? 15 seconds. Here they come. Hold down mouse one. Mir does just that. He's got another to find. Electronic lined up. Knocked down. Five seconds. Chaos. CIS counter-strike. I expect nothing less. Just complete and total abusal. Abusal? Is that a word? Abusal? Yeah, abusal of the clock. Yeah, and, and my at, God. At this point here, if I'm Navi, I would want to throw in a fast round. I would want to change the pace. I'd want to take a risk. I'd want to find a gap because they're taking so long to push the A defenders back that they're happy to just hang around with their bodies. And Electronic getting fired up there. I'm not quite sure why. No right. Big win for Spirit, though. Well, they've bought in Galil's, Deagle. And hopefully some risk, because I think now V by the Booker, having a hard time getting past Spirit. This might be a quick finish onto B. Pop flash and they go. Yeah, you wanted it, Chad. You get what you asked for, but look what the results. So one for one. Monster pressure. Amir pushes forward, surging into short. He's doing multiple rob jobs at once. Now the smoke drop. Chopper using his smoke to walk into simple. They're two frags away from closing out overpass, but disbalance has dropped into the site. This could be the element of surprise they need. Simple 
Not surprised at all. And a crazy spray, not gonna connect. It's Na'Vi finishing what they started with an 11 round T-Hall, pulling it across the line and taking Spirit's map pick. It's 16 to 12.